What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my official fall vlog. I'm super excited to vlog today. Um, I am really tired though so we are currently on our way to get some Starbucks. I have not tried a fall drink yet so today is the perfect day to try it. Um, it is September 9th, Saturday, um, 9, almost 9.30. And I got up like super early this morning. I've just been used to like, I don't know, going to bed early and getting up early. But last night I went to bed around like midnight, which is a couple hours later than I normally go to bed. Um, but I still woke up at the same time that I normally do for work. I got up at like 7 and um, <clears throat> hung out with Sammy. He had just gotten home from work. So I spent a little time with him. And then he went to bed and I packed up and I'm headed out to Trader Joe's. Um, our closest Trader Joe's, and I think the only one in Michigan actually, is in Ann Arbor, which is like a 45 minute drive from where we live. So, not too bad. I like to go every so often, and fall is my favorite time of the year to go because Trader Joe's always has the best. They have like pumpkin cream cheese, pumpkin bagels, um, probably not the most healthy things, pumpkin bread. Um, but I'm super excited. I love their fall stuff. I love pumpkin flavored stuff. Um, and I woke up today and it's like super gloomy outside and it's only 61 degrees. So I've been like trying to find the perfect day to film a fall, fall vlog for you guys. I've been like dying to break out my fall decorations and, um, and come to Trader Joe's. But I'm hoping I'm not too early since it is the 9th. Um, I don't know what time they normally get their stuff. I usually don't go till like way later in the season and I feel like all their stuff is gone. So I'm hoping I'm like that perfect timing where <clears throat> they've gotten stuff out and I'm able to get all of the stuff that's in before it sells out too quickly. But I also don't want to be there too early to where they don't have much fall stuff out yet. I was trying to like look on TikTok and um, it looked like there was some from like August and it was still too early, but they did have some stuff. So I'm hoping now will be prime time. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. But first, I really want to stop and get a Starbucks because I'm feeling a little tired on this drive and this gloomy weather is making me tired. But it's so nice that it's finally feeling like fall. Um, the last couple of days have been, well, it was like 90 degrees the beginning of the week. And then it... Um, we had like a few days of rain and it was still like muggy and hot and now it's started to cool down so like yesterday into today it's gloomy and chilly which I don't mind um been looking for an excuse to get stuff done and break out the fall stuff and Sammy works all weekend so it's the perfect time to do it oh my gosh you guys so I just got out of Trader Joe's and it was so freaking packed I literally felt so uncomfortable. They had um, all those really fun pumpkins that you probably saw in the last clip. Um, they always have them every year, but I am never able to get them because I think last year I was, but I like didn't think that I wanted them. I kind of like skipped past them or maybe that was a couple years ago. And then like ever since then I've gone back, it's been too late and they've already been all taken. So I literally stacked up like shoot I don't even know how many pumpkins I think I got six like five huge ones and one little one because I'm gonna like stack them outside of the front porch but it was so awkward I like loaded up my car it literally took up my whole car so I obviously couldn't get any groceries so I was like well I'll just pay for these pumpkins and then I'll go back in and get groceries um so the lady I was like waiting in line and it was so packed and the lady looks over and she's like holy crap what are you gonna do with that huge pumpkin anyways it just made me feel really awkward clearly I'm blushing still blushing about it uh, today is actually game day which I had forgotten about so well I remembered on my way up here that um U of M plays um I don't know who they play today but anyways, New Orleans plays and it's a home game. So it's like packed. Thankfully traffic isn't too bad because it's still early in the morning and the game's not till 3.30 I believe I saw. 
Um, but anyways, I hit the jackpot. I got pumpkins. I got tons of fall stuff. I, they had the pumpkin cream cheese, which I was super excited about. The only thing that I wanted that they didn't have was um, pumpkin bagels, which is okay. Like, I can do the cream cheese on regular bagels or whatever. Um, uh, if you guys didn't know, I used to live in Ann Arbor, too. So, this whenever I come back here, it's always, like, just brings back so many memories, and I love it. Um, I used to nanny for a family um, that lived in this neighborhood that I'm actually driving past, and it makes me sad because it makes me miss them. I nannied for them for, like, a couple of years, and they had three kids, and they were the best. They made me fall even more in love with children. I mean, I've been babysitting since I was, shoot, like, 11 or 12, so... Um, I've always loved kids. But anyways, now I'm going on a tangent. Um, I still have not gotten my Starbucks yet. So, um, I'm actually going to stop at Whole Foods because it's right here and see if I can get, there was a couple things that, um, Trader Joe's didn't have that I need. Not too much, but a couple. So I'm going to stop here and get the last of my items and then we'll see if we can hit up a Starbucks close by. I don't know how busy it's going to be. Maybe we'll head home and get hit up a Starbucks closer, but I got these from Trader Joe's and I've heard they're really good, but I've never gotten them and I'm starving. So I'm going to open them and try them. I heard they taste like Takis. Mmm. Those are delicious. They are a little spicy. Obviously, Takis are spicy. Um, so I never, I've no, I don't think I've ever even tried Takis because I didn't think I would like them because they're hot. Mm -hmm. This traffic is insane. All right, I should probably drive. Okay, so Whole Foods was a fail, which is fine because I did not, I spent so much money already on groceries today. Um, but I went to the Plum Market, which I've never been to that store before. It's basically like a smaller Whole Foods um, because they had a <clears throat> yogurt that I've been looking for, like a specific brand, which I'll show you guys in my haul. But um, Whole Foods didn't have it. So went to the Plum Market, got that, and then was able to find like the couple other things that I wasn't able to find at Trader Joe's and um now we are on our way home but it's insane it's literally insane how much I spent at the plum market I spent $110 for like five items and some flowers um but I spent like $110 at the plum market for hardly any items and then I had like a whole grocery cart filled and spent $230 at Trader Joe's. So crazy, so crazy. Um, but I like hardly ever come out here, so it's like a once in a every so often kind of thing. Uh, it's obviously not a place I will grocery shop all the time. I'm on my way home now, um, but we have to stop at Meyer to get, I need tin foil paper towel and toilet paper. And normally I would go to Sam's for that. Um, I don't have um, our Sam's Club card. Sammy has it, so I'm not able to go there. So I'm just gonna go. We really need paper towel, especially. So I'll just go to um, Meyer today on my way home, and then take a trip to whole or to Sam's like a different day. But anyways, I got my fall drink. I got the ice. Ice Grande Pumpkin Cream Chai Latte. Um, it looks pretty good. Oh my god. Yeah. That's freaking amazing. We're home. Back with the babies. Milkers going on pot pot. And... I have to show you guys all my pumpkins. Look at how cute. I'm so obsessed with them. Now let's decorate them on our very um, still summery front porch. 
Okay, so this is like how they had it stacked at Trader Joe's, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or if I want to do it like closer up to the door, like right here. I think I like these ones stacked. I don't know how I want them. It's hard when we don't have like any any um like Halloween decor out here. Like we still have my summer plants. Um I almost got mums today actually. But I'm just gonna kinda like leave it for now um, because I think that we'll want to put them back. Ow, lookers, you're so crazy! <laughs> back closer to the door. Okay. We are officially back in the kitchen. Um, Sammy is asleep, so I'm gonna try to be as quiet as possible so I don't wake him up. But I want to give you guys a quick grocery grocery haul. Well, as quick as it can be because we have, as you saw, so many groceries. But I'll show you guys what I picked up from the Plum Market. literally never heard of the plum market before um i heard of it because i lived in ann arbor but i'd never been there and i never really knew what it was um but like i said it's basically like a smaller whole foods um more expensive and has like a lot of healthy alternatives um but i think it's like a local store to ann arbor like i don't think they have them anywhere else but i'm not sure but i picked up these beautiful blue hydrangeas um we are actually having these in our um, wedding flowers, and I'm so obsessed with them. I just, look, hydrangeas are my favorite flower, so I was super excited that I was going to get to have them at my wedding. So, very excited. My sister is FaceTiming me, so intermission. Okay, sorry. Continuing with the haul. We have some yummy looking sourdough bread. Zimmerman's is a local place in um, Ann Arbor, and um, I didn't know that they had bread. I know they do like they do coffee and I don't know. I guess they do tons of tons of stuff. Um, but I saw this and it looked delicious, so I had to get it. Um, I picked up this whole wheat spaghetti because I'm gonna be making um, fettuccine alfredo for dinner. Um, I got, this is the coconut call that I originally went to the Plum Market for. Um, it is the chocolate flavor they have. This is the only flavor that um, the Plum Market sells. But you can order it online in the bigger jars. But I got two of them um, to try out since they're pretty small. Um, but basically what it is, is they are live um, probiotics in this yogurt. And you can go look at their TikTok for more information, but I feel like I'm squatting in this. Um, but regular yogurt, that's like shelf life yogurt, um, it's all like dead probiotics and not like live bacteria. So 
it's not like really healing your gut. Um, so this stuff you can do like one to two tablespoons, I believe, in the morning um, to provide you with um, your daily probiotic instead of taking a pill. So anyways, I've seen a lot of good things about it and I figured I would try it out. I have like a horrible gut and have digestion issues all the time. Um, greens help a ton, but I thought this would be a fun way to try it out. I wonder what it tastes like, but I guess we'll find out. Um, and then, camera just died now. Um, I finally found these little muddy bites. Um, I've seen them everywhere. I, as you guys saw in my previous vlog, I got the Ninja Creamy recently, and you can put these as like mix-ins in the ice cream. So I just got the dark chocolate ones and the white chocolate ones. And they're just like little mini waffle cones to add in. I thought that would be really good. And then I picked up um, Siesta or Siete taco seasoning. I've never had this brand of taco seasoning before, but I love their chips. So I figured I'd try it out. And then, really cool, I've been dying to try out this O. OC, OSE, I don't really know how you pronounce it, but I've been dying to try out their line. They have like hair products, skin products, face products. Um, but I got their best selling body care set. Um, it has the body oil, body balm, body scrub, and body butter. So that sounds amazing. And it came in this like cute little white bag that I can use for traveling. And that's that for my plum haul. And look, that all those things cost me $110, but I forgot I did buy this. So this was 50 bucks. Um, but these like little yogurts were like $10 a piece. I think they're pretty expensive. Um, and online they're even more expensive because they come in the bigger jars. But yeah, that's what I got from there. Now we will skip on to the best part, um, Trader Joe's. And I'm gonna close this curtain so you guys can see me a little bit better. All right, starting out with the first bag out of five bags that are like fully packed. We got so much crap, you guys, but I'm so excited. All right, we got, as you saw, we eat these in the car. Um, we got those. Ugh, who's calling me? Hold on. Hello? Okay, <laughs> second intermission. Um, that was my dad who called, so um, we might be seeing him tonight. But continuing on, I got this pumpkin brioche twist bread. I've had this before, I believe, and yum, it's so good. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. I'm like pulling it all out of the bags, and there's nowhere to put it. Um... I got these for Sammy. He really likes these chopsticks. So I just got all three flavors, beef, turkey, and jalapeno. I got some cauliflower. Two bags of that. That's going in my fettuccine Alfredo pasta that I'm have making for dinner this week. So for dinners this week, I'm making or for food this week, I'm making fettuccine alfredo and then um, tacos. And then for breakfast, I'm doing like apples, cinnamon, oats or something like that. So I got all the groceries I need for that. And then obviously I got extras because Trader Joe's. <laughs> um, I got some strawberries because I did a um, protein strawberry creamy and I was told to add strawberries into it and um, crushed graham crackers mm, I should probably I'm gonna put these in the sink to start soaking honestly gotten the worst strawberries this summer and it bumps me out so bad because I love strawberries but they've just been crap and these strawberries I got from Trader Joe's today look amazing. So I'm very excited about those. I hope they are 
as good as they look. I need to plug this back in. Okay. Um, I got pumpkin nochi. I love nochi. I got some pumpkin cream cheese. I got a ton of these little shots. I got the ginger one, pineapple probiotic, turmeric, uh, Mighty C, and immunity. I love these. When I'm like trying to reset my body, they just make me feel really good in the morning. Um, I got some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Never had this one from Trader Joe's, so try that out. Um, I got some pico de gallo for the tacos. Um, pumpkin overnight oats, vanilla, and almond butter chia. I don't know how good that one's gonna be. I thought it was like a strawberry, but that's okay. We can add fruit to it. And then I got some liquid egg whites. One bag down. All right, we got some pumpkin ravioli. These are like super easy, like really nice to have. Like we freeze them, and then um, they're really nice to be able to cook up like last minute. Um, butternut squash ravioli, spinach tortellini. I'm gonna put these all over here actually. Uh, these need to go in the freezer. Um, these are frozen peppers. Um, they're already like cut up and everything. I just love having these on hand. It's a really quick, easy way to like cook up veggies. I got two packs of chicken, which I'm going to throw in the fridge right now just because it's chicken. Um, I got some pumpkin waffles. These are amazing. I wish I would have gotten two actually. Let's see the calories on these. Not bad at all. 190 calories for two waffles. Seven grams of fat. 28 grams of carbs and four grams of protein. So really not bad, not like great in protein or anything, but not a bad option and they're so good. And then these I got last year and they're amazing. Um, they're pretty high in calories, not gonna lie, but I got two of them. Um, they're butternut squash mac and cheese. I do not remember grabbing this, but maybe I did. It's gluten-free egg fettuccine pasta. It looks pretty good, but I don't remember grabbing this. <laughs> I must have. I like think I black out in there sometimes and just go absolutely crazy. And my mom or my dad and my sister are both so mad that I went to the store without them and didn't get them anything, but I told them they're welcome to come over and pick from anything I have because I got way too much crap. Um, I got unsweetened almond milk. Second bag done. Like, I just love Trader Joe's for their, like, quick, 
easy, long-lasting, fast meals. Like a lot of their stuff you can get and put in the freezer and have it in there for like ever. And it's just like really easy to pull out and make easy quick meals. So I got two bags of cauliflower nochi. No other cauliflower nochi is as good as this. I've tried like other brands at other grocery stores and it's like a weird texture. This stuff is like soft. Wouldn't even know it's cauliflower. Love. Another one of my all-time favorites is orange chicken, which I'm sure you guys have heard about. I feel like everyone raves about these. Um, but I got two bags, and this is something we love to like cook up with rice and veggies for a quick dinner. <sighs> two bags of turkey meatballs. These are really nice because they're fully cooked, so you can just throw them in the microwave. It's a good source of protein and something different. For two meatballs, it's 100 calories, 12 grams of protein, only 5 grams of carbs, and only 5 grams of fat. Amazing. And then another one of my most recent faves is this um, jasmine rice. They are like little bags, and I hate cooking rice you guys like without fail every single time I end up like it doesn't get burnt but like majority of the bottom does and so it like gets stuck to the pan and then you lose so much rice and it just seems like a waste of food and time and anyways these are amazing you take them out throw them in the microwave for like three minutes and voila you have jasmine rice great so I got two boxes of these they come with three three 10 ounce microwavable pouches and it's 210 calories for one cup which i think is one bag i don't know but anyways i got those okay this one we have to try it out i've heard that it's really good it's um, cinnamon roll drizzled granola. Um, it's 120 calories per a half or a fourth of a cup, 250 for a half cup. So not great, not terrible. Let's try it. This is what it looks like. This is so freaking good. It's like, tastes like cinnamon cro toast crunch, but better. Cause like the drizzle, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like icing, like the cinnamon taste. I just, I'm in awe right now how good that is. I heard it was good, but I didn't know it was gonna be that good. And I almost didn't buy it because they had this Honeycrisp apple one that was like almost out of stock. So I was like, is this one better? And this one is actually, this one's more calories, but only by like 10 calories per serving. Um, but let's try this one and compare the two because I almost only got one, but I was like, mm, whatever. Oh, it smells like apple. really good but it tastes like a regular granola Does that makes sense like that tastes like a dessert and this one tastes like just like a basic granola that you'd get from the store and my dogs are going crazy yeah this is good that's better but still really good. These pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels I've had before and they are amazing from what I remember. We're gonna try. <coughs> Loki.
Luna, absolutely not. <sighs> I swear we're never gonna get through this because my dogs just keep barking. Oh, these are w different than what I've had before. So they are actually like really small. The ones I've had before were like the pretzel thins. They weren't small, but they had like little crumbles of stuff on it. So this says with yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds. So it's just like a chocolate covered pretzel. Um, but pumpkin flavor. Um, another thing I got for the creamy are these teeny tiniest cookies. I've never seen them before. Maybe I have, but they just didn't like cross my mind until I was like, I saw them today and I was like immediately, heck yeah, these would be so good. Cause they're like very small. Um, I got corn tortillas for tacos. Grape tomatoes for the pasta. Garlic goes in both the pasta and the tacos. I got these little pumpkin pasta, which I feel like I get those every year. They always have them. Um, they're just like regular pasta, but they're a fun way to incorporate in the fall for like soups or something. I got dried mango, cause Sammy and I have been loving these. I heard Trader Joe's has the best ones. So I picked up these. Okay, <laughs> these were a bit of a splurge. I did not need these, but they sounded amazing. Pumpkin butter. I know I've seen these before, but I don't know if I've gotten them and tried them. And cinnamon bud spread. Yum. So excited to try out those. And I don't know, like I think those on like the pumpkin brioche bun would be chef's kiss. I got some ground nutmeg for one of my meals. Bag of apples and they're so cute. They're little honey crisp apples. I love honey crisp and they I feel like they like are always out at um like local stores and they have like a whole little bag of them. I'm very excited about these. Um but I will be using these. I mainly got them for the apple um, overnight oats. And then I got a bag of lemons and a bag of limes. I'm gonna start drink, trying to do lemon water in the morning. And then limes are for the tacos. Okay, last bag, I promise. Okay, these are so cute. Look at these, they're mini milk chocolate. Oh, I thought they were dark chocolate. That's okay. Mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups. Look how tiny. Can you guys see how tiny they are? I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're so cute and little. And another perfect creamy Find. And also I just like to grab a handful of these for like a little little treat for at night. Way better than eating like a whole thing of I don't know, a whole pack of Reese's. <laughs> like for especially we're getting close to like Halloween time, kind of. Got them pumpkin maple bacon flavored stuffed dog treats. And then my taco recipe calls for a cashew, like a homemade cashew sour cream. So I got roasted, unsalted cashews. I got some tomato basil pasta sauce just because I love this um, pasta sauce and you can only get it at Trader Joe's. And since I got like all those pastas, might as well have some pasta sauce on hand. Same with this one. This is three cheese with Romano, Parmesan, and Asiago. So good. Oh, 
that I like randomly picked up this. Why is it so dark? Um, hold on. Um, I don't know what happened with my camera, but it got super dark, so I had to like pause for a second. Um, but I got this Ratified and Repealed California Red Wine. Literally just bought it last minute because I saw it at the end of an aisle and I just loved the bottle. So I thought it was really cute. So I got that. I got some more rolled oats because I bought the wrong ones last time. I got like the steel cut oats instead of the rolled oats. I've done that so many times it's embarrassing. You would think I would know by now. Um, and then just some other little finds. We got pumpkin body butter and a pumpkin body scrub. I needed a new body scrub because I ran out of mine and this just sounded like a fun fall thing. So now that my counters are literally fully covered, um, I need to clean out my fridge, clean out my pantry, and get this crap put away. Um, and then I will... Um, Keep you guys updated on what we end up doing because I think we need to get to cleaning.